Hello. I wanted to make a video today about something that I thought was very important, and that is what we face when we decide to become our own advocate. This is very important because when you leave toxic family or a toxic relationship, anything like that, you felt like you were manipulated, you were experiencing gaslighting and all of these type of things that go tandem with narcissistic abuse when it happens in our lives that's the way i'll phrase it when we find ourselves around these type of people what we do is we drop our boundaries and we no longer advocate for ourselves that can look like anything like oh you know what i'm gonna pick my battles i'm not gonna fight about this i'm gonna keep my mouth quiet you may look at it in that moment like you're advocating for yourself because you're not going to feed into something negative but once you remove yourself out of that situation you have to learn how to advocate for yourself stick up for yourself and not worry about what the consequences are going to be based on the person that you were receiving abuse from whether that was your family or your job your partner whatever that looked like you have to start learning how to advocate for yourself so I've been learning how to advocate for myself for the past couple years and like everything in life, the more you do it, the better you get at it. I feel like right now I'm at a really good place in my life and within myself that I can advocate for myself and I can do it in a way that I come across very emotionally stable, uh, very emotionally under control. I'm very proud of myself about that, but that has only became that way because I put that work in. So with that said, I still deal with issues about my boundaries and advocating for myself. This is why I'm sharing this because I know I'm not the only person who does this type of stuff. I caught myself in thought about how, wow, you know, I've, I've really had to start advocating for myself a lot within the past year or two years. And I'm just remembering the events because some of them are just really freaking crazy. As I'm thinking about these things that have happened in my life where I've had to advocate for myself and where that put me, like what type of situation that put me in as I was advocating for myself, I couldn't help but think that I was wrong somewhere and that is normal, especially if you are a self-reflective person. You're going to say, hmm, okay, where did my position play in this? So I caught myself in that thought and thankfully... I am a very silver lining person and I talk myself out of these things a lot and I've been really good at that. So what I did to kind of flip that thought process around for myself was, you know, Michelle, it seems like you've been put in some really freaking crazy situations since you've been advocating for yourself, but you also have to keep in mind that you went your whole life without doing it. So when people cross boundaries and stuff like that throughout our lives, a lot of times we don't want to talk about how it affected us and I caught myself in that situation a lot throughout my life um, a lot of times I didn't even bother saying how things made me feel because I went my whole life feeling like my voice was not important and I was not heard so these all play into this advocacy that I had to form for myself um, these are all just like the ingredients i always say like everybody's so custom when it comes to their healing and their trauma and their hurt um their triggers everything everything is so unique to everybody that not everybody can fit into a mold of any certain type so when i find these type of things that help me turn something from a negative thought into a positive thought i love to share them I hope this makes sense to anybody who needed to hear it because self-advocacy is not easy. It's not easy when you've lived a life of trauma, abuse, um, around hurtful people, abusive people, and especially from childhood, if this is something that has formed from childhood as a coping mechanism and a safety mechanism. Um, not sticking up for yourself can really save you when you are around these type of people. So. Just know that if you do find yourself resonating with what I'm saying, it's not your fault and don't beat yourself up for it. Um, but there are ways to make yourself stronger in your advocacy for yourself. I always extend my help to anybody. So I do that as well in this video. But thank you for listening to me and I hope this helps anybody that needed to hear it.
sending my love.